It's a daily slog for many commuters. City traffic can be practically unbearable these days. There are simply too many cars and trucks and not enough pavement. We have an interstate system that was designed in the 50s, built in the 60s for a population of the 1980s that they thought would be about 3 million people in Colorado. That's why Colorado, population 5.5 million, and many other states and countries are looking for better ways to move people and things. We're going to have to find a way to operate the system better. A company called Hyperloop One is one of a few firms developing a technology which could revolutionize travel. It's a vehicle propelled by an electric motor in a vacuum tube, and it glides for hundreds of miles with minimal amount of energy, and it goes at airline speeds very smoothly. Bruce Upbin says this system, first outlined by inventor Elon Musk in 2013, happened a lot faster than we thought, needs a home, a place to get these electromagnetically levitated pods off the ground. After an open call for proposals, 35 semifinalists from every continent except Antarctica remain in the Hyperloop One Global Challenge, each offering Hyperloop routes, including this one from Denver's airport to Greeley, Colorado. This could really be a game changer for transportation. There's no reason why it shouldn't work. The question is, does a good idea on paper translate into uh, the real world? Upman says today's real world is hampered by congestion and spotty infrastructure. It's a tax, if you will, on logistics and commerce on the cargo side. And on the human side, uh, you know, it's a, uh, a check on, on labor productivity and quality of life. He says this technology could bring cities closer together and dramatically improve business, provided countries fund it and engineering problems are overcome. The engineering challenge is, is real. We're working through those right now. We, don't, we think those are surmountable. I can see a future in Colorado uh, where we are moving huge numbers of goods and peoples at 700 miles an hour. Upbin says testing on a track in Las Vegas, Nevada could happen this spring. Soon, he expects, the word looping will be a regular part of our vocabulary. I'm a looper. Let's, let's loop over there today. I'll loop, I'll loop back to you at 5 o'clock. He says the first Hyperloop system could be in operation by 2020. Hendrick Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.